Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to improve your FPS in the new real royal game. Um, so yeah, you have a couple of options that you can do inside of the game, but uh, I found that you can do a lot more in the those config file. So we'll show you where to find these config file. Um, go to my game, Paladin Royale, Realm game, config, open the Realm system setting one, okay? So in that file, you will have a lot of options that you can change. And that's pretty amazing because uh, you have a lot more than uh, they offer you in the game. So first of all, all those dynamics options, just remove this, okay? So dynamic equal, dynamic lights, shadow, just both of them. Uh, I got like 7 to 9 FPS depending where am I in the game. Uh, you know, light, dynamic lights and shadows, even just shadow, it's always pain in the ass to run. So if you have like a low-end computer or a mid-range computer, uh, those ones can help you a lot to get your uh, 60 FPS. So you definitely should remove them and put faults over here. Light environment, shadow, same thing. Uh, I'm removing, removing it. When I see shadow in the, all those features, I always remove it because you, at the end you can gain like 15 to 20 FPS if you remove completely the shadows of the game. So that's really important too. Uh, motion blur, I'm remo removing motion blur because I don't like the effects. So the like the weird uh, when you do left to right and it's kind of blurry. Uh, it's not an effect that I like in the game so I just remove it. But I didn't see any improvement here so it's more like if you don't like the motion blur you can remove it if you want. Depth of field, ambient occlusion. I'm removing them. I got like 4 FPS just by removing them also. So it's pretty good. Same thing with Bloom. Remove that too. Um, doo -doo -doo. Which one is the next? You can uh, remove drop particle if you want. Uh, you have a lot of options that you can do uh, some testing. So that's pretty cool. Uh, lens flare. This one I'm removing it. Uh, I didn't see a big improvement on my Nvidia. It was like 1 to 2 FPS. But on my AMD car of 580. I got 5 FPS increase, so uh, that was pretty good. Um, doo -doo -doo. So you got triple buffering, etc. I think it's fine. Yeah, exactly. So that pretty much it. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the setting that I changed in the config file. The other thing that you can do, uh, inside of the game, it's locked at uh, DirectX 11. So you have a way to uh, remove that. And also you have a way to change the anti-aliasing if you want to, to use the one from a DirectX 9. So uh, again, it will be better, uh, less image quality, but you will have more FPS uh, in the game. At the end, you have a lot of different uh, stuff that you can change, like the resolution of the shadows, uh, resolution of the um, uh, texture, a lot of different stuff. So uh, if you really want to change it, you can't. Uh, all the options are there, but normally you, you should have your 60. It's kind of well optimized if I compare with uh, totally accurate battleground. This game is kind of like, it sucks, man. Even with my video car, I, I have some issue to run it at 50 to 60. So uh, this game is pretty much it. It's pretty easy to run it, but uh, I'm giving you some advice. So what can you change in the config file to improve your FPS? So that's about it, guys. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your question and also your rig. So CPU, GPU, RAM, and I will try to help the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, guys. Peace.